And welcome back to another daily devotion. I'm Pastor Roy here at Woodlawn Christian Church in Lake City, Iowa, and this devotion is for Wednesday, May 17th of 2023. We are in the book of 2 Corinthians, and I say that for those that have just found these videos. Um, we've been working our way through the book of 2 Corinthians. We've just finished chapter 3, yesterday and yesterday's video. Today we're going to jump into chapter 4. These chapters right through here in uh, 2 Corinthians, at least, are very, very short chapters. Uh, however, for whatever reason, they decide to keep them fairly staccato as we go along here. Uh, in the Revised Standard Version, this part of chapter 4 is called Treasure and Clay Jars, but we're not going to get to the clay jars today. We're just going to stick with the first six verses today, verses 1 through 6. So, let's jump in and see what we can find here for ourselves. Therefore, having this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart. We have renounced disgraceful, underhanded ways, refused to practice cunning or to tamper with God's word. But by the open statement of the truth, we would commend ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled only to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the likeness of God. For what we preach is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants, for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Okay, uh, it's by the very, very mercy of God that we are able to have this ministry, that we are uh, so honored as to present the Lord to the world, that we do not lose heart in that. In fact, we take rejoice in that. We, we find great solace in that. And, and uh, we don't want to say pride because pride is a sin. But Paul goes on to say, we again, he's kind of kind of taking a dig at these people that have come around and done some underhanded and, and distorted the, the gospel in some ways because he says, uh, we have renounced disgraceful underhanded ways, refused to practice cunning or to tamper with God's word. Uh, apparently there are some, as there is today, that, that would that would try to modify for, um, you know, what do I want to say, for for public appeal, uh, they would, would modify some of the, the, the words of God. Uh, but by open statement of the truth, we would commend ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. They're merely stating the gospel. That's all they're doing. It's the gospel and the gospel alone. It's Christ and Jesus. That's all they're preaching. Um, it is, and, and it's veiled to those who are perishing. He talked about being veiled yesterday, and he continues to use that language here a little bit. And this is really just a continuation. Um, and so th those that don't see it are those that are, that are, that are perishing. They're lost. Um, in their case, the God, small g, it's important to know that, of this world, you know, the fallen world, the Satan, um, has blinded them. And, and, and Satan's very good at, at blinding us to, to our own sins. Um, we, we start to try to rationalize away our sins, and we're all want to do that. Um, and again, as I have done before, um, unfortunately, especially among the mainline churches, they've done a good, good job of helping to rationalize away, sin, away sins and to, uh, to codify sin, in fact. Um, so we've got a problem there. Um, to, and uh, all of this to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel, the glory of Christ, who is the likeness of God. That's, of course, that this um, and, and the next verse, verse 5, for what we preach is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord. Of course, what we're preaching is Jesus, as I said before, Christ alone. But, but those two verses really do show the deity of Jesus. So there's, um, and I've talked about that in the sermon on Sunday, which I'm way behind on sermon Sunday sermons. I apologize. I think I got about six of them that I need to get up. I'm very much behind a month and a half. That's terrible. I'm bad about getting Sunday sermons up. I don't know why. Um, but at any rate, uh, we talked a little bit about on Sunday about that there are some, you know, even in the pulpits, uh, perhaps even especially in the pulpits, that would denounce the, the, the uh, deny the deity of Christ. And, and most of them won't do it openly, but I hear about it in, in private meetings and, and in pastoral meetings sometimes or in one-on-one -on -one conversations. Um, but it's, it's that silliness because it's right there in 2 Corinthians. Paul very much codifies that Jesus is Lord, as Lord, um, and with ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. We are serving you for the sake of Jesus, for the sake of God. 
We are there for, to do that. All of us are called to be servants. All of us are called to be ministers. Um, that's one of the things that I like about the Baptist faith is that it, it's, uh, it means we're, we're all called to be ministers of the Lord. No one is just is 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 not supposed to be being evangelistic. All of us are supposed to evangelize. We're all supposed to spread the gospel. That's the thing. I don't care what denomination you belong to or don't belong to a denomination. If you're non-denominational, well, God bless you. Um, you're still supposed to be spreading the gospel if you're calling yourself a follower of Christ. You take the moniker of Christian. You're supposed to be speaking as an advocate. You're supposed to be a tool, the hands and the feet of the Lord. He's our Lord, capital L Lord, upper G, capricase G, God, uh, Christ Jesus. So that is where we are at here. This is, and of course, now we're going to switch into talking about the treasure in the clay jars. We'll talk about that tomorrow, though. More to come. Have a blessed day, and please, please, please be a blessing to someone today. Tell them about Jesus, for crying out loud. That would be a wonderful way to bless them, wouldn't it? Take care. God loves you. Bye-bye.